Hey Glamour and Sugaries, it's me, Cherry. Welcome to another episode. Long time no see, hopefully not too long. Glad we're back. And today we are going somewhere a little bit special to continue my monthly birthday celebration. I know I'm a little spoiled, but we're going to downtown Disney. Can't wait to show you my favorite places there. So if you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up to like my video, subscribe down below, and hit that notification bell to know when I come out with a new one. Located on Disneyland Drive and nestled among beautiful landscaping, you will first come up to the parking at Paradise Pier. There's a tiny little stroll before you get there, but just follow the signs and you'll find it no problem. We were lucky Mickey was there to guide us. After passing the security check, you come to the fabulous Downtown Disney Boulevard where they have icons of Disney characters, tons of restaurants and yummy places to eat, and just a promise of fun that could be even more fun than Disney itself. Well, almost. <laughs> First exciting stop is the Star Wars Trading Post. This is their newest store where Star Wars fans can get their shopping on with Star Wars memorabilia everywhere you look. Who's a fan of Mandalorian and Baby Yoda? Come on, you can't resist that face. They're killing me with this cute merchandise. They personalize lightsabers, have fighter helmets, and costumes in case he needs them. Finally, I found the dessert I was seeking, but looks like I'll have to get past Darth Vader BB-8 and Yoda to taste these treats. On to the Lego shop where they have humongous sculptures made purely of Legos. Care to make a wish? You only get three. Or maybe you just want to dance with a beast. Here's the main hub of restaurants. Taste of New Orleans with Jazz Kitchen or Mexico with Tortilla Joe's. Have family fun at Splitsville, a bowling alley and restaurant. Or enjoy the sun at the outdoor Catal. But we're here to continue my birthday celebration at Black Tap, a walk-up bar and grill where you can enjoy burgers, fries, and drinks. Oh yeah, and what they're best known for are their crazy shakes, which I will show you in a bit. While waiting for our table, we browsed the Disney Home Store, which has Mickey Mouse dishware and household items. Perfect for a Mickey lover's home. Stepsisters don't get left out either. To my disappointment, my favorite cupcake shop, Sprinkles, was closed. But we were able to visit Marceline's Confectionery where they make beautiful baked goods and treats, including my favorite, caramel chocolate apples in Disney theme. Watch her work, it's mesmerizing. Step inside with me and check out their in-house treats. So many yummy little treats to choose from, and so little time. Before we try anything, let's see if dinner's ready. Fried pickles, grilled cheese, french fries, and a burger salad. Hey, so I'm gonna eat this 
burger salad that I just got is yummy. Check that out. Yeah. And here's the fried pickle. Time to order a crazy shake and try some dessert. So we're gonna try some stuff kind of in the middle of our black tap patio area here. I got this Baby Yoda Rice Krispie Treat. Uh, he is so cute. I do not even want to break this, but for the sake of you guys trying it with me, we'll open it. Look at this guy! Oh my gosh! It looks like it's a wafer paper transfer there, but I think it's so cute. Okay, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry, Yoda, but I'm gonna have to take a bite. Disneyland makes great Rice Krispie Treats, that's for sure. You cannot go wrong with any of their RKT. Next, we stopped at Marceline's Confectionery, one of my favorite places here at Downtown Disney. I also got a few little treats for myself in there. I couldn't resist the Mickey Cupcake. They put it in this cute little container for me. Let me see if I can open it. <laughs> oh, there we go. Look at that, a chocolate cupcake, all decked out in Mickey Mouse colors. So cute. And this cute, adorable cookie pineapple, obviously in the shape of Mickey Mouse. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Thank you. Cute. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, cookie, you are going to have to wait because I, <laughs> I'm gonna try this. Oh my gosh. Okay, just take a gander at what this thing looks like. It is dripping <laughs> with hot fudge. Oh my gosh. I'll turn it for you. Look at that. This is what 3,000 calories looks like. <laughs> Oh, this is whipped cream. <laughs> it's gonna fall. <laughs> it's ice cream. It tastes like an Oreo milkshake with a ton of whipped cream. It's delicious. You definitely gotta come here and try some. It actually smells like pineapple. It does. <laughs> okay, I'll have to have a piece of this green part. Mmm. Looks like maybe a shortbread cookie. The cookie is a little bit tender and it does taste like pineapple. The frosting. It's a yummy royal icing with a pineapple flavor. Definitely recommend this. Now we're digging into the Mickey Mouse cupcake here. Ooh, looks like dark chocolate in there. I love dark chocolate. It's good. It's not sprinkles, which I love, but it's definitely a really good cupcake. And you can't go wrong here at the park having fun and all these beautiful treats. One last dessert stop before we go. Jazz Kitchen Express. They have beignets, French donuts, that are so delicious. They're like Hawaiian malasadas. Get them with powdered sugar or assorted flavors. Hi. What are we doing? I'm taste testing the beignets. All right, let's see what they look like. Yummy. Oh, can we see? Wow, look at that donut. <laughs> yeah. Can you break it in half for me, Cammie? Yeah. <laughs> Pull it apart then. There you go. Show me the inside. Look at There we go. Oh, that looks amazing. It's rain, okay, it's your snowing. turn. <laughs> Is it yummy? <laughs> Powdered sugar makes me happy. It's delicious. It's just like I remembered it. It's nice and gooey on the inside and 
like the powdered sugar really adds to this. Definitely come and get these at the Jazz Kitchen. Now, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that thumbs up to like my video, subscribe down below, and don't forget to share my video with all your family and friends. I can't wait to see you guys next time for another baking adventure. Bye!